Hey, what's up, legends? If you want to learn how to get started with hand lettering, then you come to the right place. See, I've been seeing these videos of people spinning the pens around their thumbs, and it's just mind blowing how they do that. And I've been trying. I think I need to spin this around. Oh, oh! Maybe it just was luck, but, but. Okay, I'm not gonna teach you how to spin your pen around your thumb, but when you're starting out at something new, you're gonna look dumb. And this is why I'm going to break down lettering so far. It's gonna look dumb, but you're actually gonna do the very first step. All right, let's get started. Step number one is getting it ready. So before we start lettering, we need to prepare our workspace. Just as you would do it before you start cooking. You don't wanna start with a dirty kitchen. You wanna start with a clean kitchen and therefore clean desk. So first up, clean out your space, make sure that your desk is empty and ready for you to draw on. Step number two, preparing your tools. So unlike popular relief, you don't need all of these fancy brushes or an iPad for that matter. All you need is a pen or pencil and something to write on piece of paper, for example. What you can also do is go through your trash and see if you can find a used envelope, kind of like, like this one over here. To start out lettering, it's pretty much all you need. So on a scale of one to 10, how hard was it so far? Lettering is supposed to be easy. We haven't drawn or done anything yet, but this is really the first step that I still have to do to this day. I still need to prepare my desk. I still need to prepare my tools to get started to lettering. And when I've done these first steps, then I can get started. And one by one, I keep going on. Okay, are you ready for step number three? We're gonna start drawing out a word, a simple word, a four letter word. And we're gonna start just by writing it down on the piece of paper in a large way. I'm saying writing because drawing actually scares most people off. All right, so I'm gonna start off and I'm gonna start off here. There we go. You really see how easy this was? Perfect. Step number four, we're gonna draw outlines around every single letter. And to make those outlines even better, space the outlines around the letters equally. All right. Last and final step, we just gotta fill it out. Now there's two ways of filling out, to go in with the same stroke all the time or following the stroke of the letter. And we're done, congratulations. You just finished your very first piece of lettering. Wait, wait, are you disappointed? Were, were you expecting something else? See, this is how you get started. You don't try to run a marathon in under three hours on the first go. No, you start by running around the block and then move from there. You just jog around the block in lettering terms. You started and that's what matters. Now you gotta keep going and you gotta keep moving on. You can repeat this process over and over again and you'll see at every time you'll improve something. In the next video, I'm going to show you how to improve your lettering with five simple tricks. Don't wanna miss that? Subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this encouraged you to start drawing. Please leave a comment below if this was your very first attempt at lettering. And please don't forget, keep drawing, keep creating, and see you next week. Sweet! See you in the next one.